In the previous video, we have seen how to use Visual Logic in Microsoft Visio and what are the components to create the program for the VLCs. In this video, we going to make a program for VLC 853 for controlling a fan from BMS. It is a simple sequence of operations and a point list for fan control. You can see the sequence of operations here. If the selector switch is in the auto position, then DDC shall command from BMS to run fan with 30 seconds delay. If the command is removed from BMS, fan shall stop with 30 seconds delay. If selector switch is in the manual position, fan shall stop with 30 seconds delay. This is the sequence of operation and these are the point list for the fan control. Assume these points are connected to VLC 853. Now, we are going to create a program that will run on VLC 853 to control the fan. First of all, I am going to rename the first page in Microsoft Visio from page 1 to configuration. Then we will add another page, right click on the configuration and click on, insert page. There is a window opened for a new page. I am going to give a name for the page, fan control. Now, you can see a new page has been created. On this page, I am going to create a program for fan control. Let us start, to prepare the program for VLC 853 according to the sequence of operation. I am going to add a 6 and gate block. For the delays, I am adding one delay on the make timer and one delay on the break timer. Now, we need an output block and an input block to add the inputs and output to the program. The first step. I am going to give the description and address in the input blocks as shown in the video. We have 8 universal inputs in VLC 853 so, the address will be from VI 0 to VI 7. Input 0 is dedicated to microset so, I am ignoring input 0 here. You can copy and paste the functional blocks into the program. Now as you can see, I am going to add VI 2, 3 and 4 to the 6 and gate block. 
To link the input block to the 6 and gate, click on the connection tool menu, then click on the end of the input block, and drag the line to one of the inputs of the 6 and gate. Click again the connection tool menu. Now, double click on the 6 and gate block then add the input address connected to it. Inputs 2, 3, and 4 are connected to BI 2, 3, and 4 as shown in the video. Input 5 and 6 we need to write true because these inputs are not used. Now, for normal operation, we have to reverse the values on manual status and trip status. So, I am going to tick the negate column for these two inputs. Then it will show as on when these inputs are off. Now, I am going to give input 1 as BV1 or binary value 1. It is a software digital point that I am going to use to control the fan from the BMS, so I gave the description as, enable command from BMS. Now, I am going to link these functional blocks as shown in the video. And I need to change the sequence number of the functional blocks. 6 and gate sequence number is 100, and I am going to give the timer block next to it 105, For that double click on the timer functional block, and here I am going to change the sequence number to 105, and delay I am going to give 30 seconds as shown in the sequence of operation. And I need to add input and outputs. I am going to give branches for input and output. We can use 8 branches on one page. So. I am going to give BR0 in the input and BR1 in the output. In the next timer, the sequence number changed to 110, and a delay of 30 seconds was added as per the sequence of operation. The input will be BR1 because it is the output of the DOM functional block. And output I am going to give BO0 because the fan start stop command is connected to binary output. Now I am going to connect it to the output block. Then double click on the output block and add BO0 in the input column and description I am going to give the fan command. Next, I need to make a software alarm for fan failure. For that, I am using an and gate then I connect fan status as an input and fan command BO0 as another input.
Then I add a delay on the make timer and output of the gate connected to that timer with a branch. 60 seconds set in the timer as a delay. the output of the timer link to binary value 2. We need to negate the status input. Now, if the fan command is on and the status is off for 60 seconds an alarm will be generated in the BMS as a failure alarm. This is how we can create a simple program for fan control in Visual Logic using Visio. Thanks for watching.